Uh, good evening, everybody. This is uh, Wag Chicago, and uh, <clears throat> this is going to be like part two to my uh, DARPA video from the other day. I want you to remember, I'll put a link right at the top. You'll see it flash. I'll link to that video so you can go back and see it if you didn't. But the equipment they were talking about, more importantly, the chemical that would be neutral to your body so your body wouldn't kick it out. What they're talking about, if you read the patents about their chemical and their the medical device that they're using on diabetics and other medical reasons right now, uh, this is hydrogel that you're seeing on your screen. And I'm going to just show this for a minute. It even talks in here where they, they put it on the screen how they can be used for medical and growing muscles, just like the military said. So this is all tied together. I'm going to bring you back about four or five years before this. This is 2018. I think we're going to 2015 uh, to a TED Talk, I believe. And uh, you're going to hear what was already going on in your body then compared to what's coming now with the roll your sleeve up possibility. So just want you to ask questions is all I want. You don't have to believe anything. You don't have to do nothing. If you do your own research, that's even better. All right, here we go. Here's the dancing hydro gel. This is important because you're about to get one of these in your rolled up sleeves. All right, hydrogel structure, it says, during some locomotion through a salt solution with some help from a pulsing electric field. Your body's electric fields in a salt water solution. Um, it says hydrogel swell and shrink when they concentration of ions, etc. So researchers can move the material by changing how ions are distributed, etc. Which will be done through your cell phone and that little device you saw stuck to the person's arm or stomach. Okay. So now they're showing you how they're going to bend it. This is cool. Now this is still a couple years old. It's advanced. As you saw him talking about the doctor, the good doc, in my last video about this. Okay. Now, I just want to show you the part where they talk about using it for medical. Uh, researchers found blah, blah, blah. They can use 3D printers and make uh, cool stuff. Yeah. They're using it for already to tell your blood sugar, your your hormones. Who knows? Uh, thinner structures. Okay, let's go forward a little bit. Hang on. I want you to see. Well, look, I guess watch how it picks it up. Yeah, that's not weird. And it can reverse the signal. That's also tied into the brain technology. They can now turn on the pain sensor or turn it off. So with the hydrogel in your body and that little sticky thing on your arm that the doctor showed you, um, they can turn pain up or down. So they'll sell it to you as a painkiller with no pain medicine. Just they can turn your cell phone. Here, it could be one day be used as artificial muscles powered by a body's electrical impulses. They're already using it for that. They said in that video the military is going to use that for that just to fix muscles, okay? So, uh, what was I saying before that? Um, anyways, you get it. I'll put a link at the very, it'll be in that little white box at the top. Stand by, I want to get to the, uh, the, the old video. Hang on. All right. All right, this is 2013 technology on a World Science Festival, not TED Talk. I think this is before TED Talk started. But similar layout. There's going to be a panel of scientists, and they're going to show you what they have been doing up to that point, which is about seven years ago now. So, again, I'm going to tie this into the DARPA technology I showed you the other day. You need to know this. Whether you want to know it or not, you need to know there's a chance one of the sh roll your sleeves up are going to have this in it, or it already has. With the annual ones. So we don't know. We don't know nothing. So here we go. Um, I want to now go to what I think this is what you're about to see. First of all, what you're about to see is going on in you right now, everywhere in you. We're going to let you look briefly at a cell made by the chemist. Right, let me uh, try and fix the. Uh screen here it's coming in super slow stand by a second all right that's a lot better here we go the department at harvard university which was getting a little worried that wasn't getting chemistry major so they thought maybe now let me just remind you harvard mit the ones out in california 
They're all in bed with DARPA, just so you know. They're all one. They should do something jazzy. So this is 2013 technology. And because it's loading high resolution, I got to wait a second. They know that the textbooks in chemistry, you know, the chemistry always looks like circles and very boring. So they said, let's just actually. All right, I'm going to have to drop the quality, stand by. All right, I dropped it to 720 and see if we can get audio at the same time. Since the internet went down and the power went out last week here, it's been horse crap. Make it like it is. So, so this is basically what you see oh, what this is going on in your cells right now. These are different fibers assembly. All right, he's going to explain you how those fibers are growing. Fast forward to today, hydrogel can grow these, just so you know. Being assembling your cells. What this is, is this? This thing? is a, a, a molecular machine that walks around in your cells right now. It's called a kinesin and trans. That's so already been in testing. Things to move around your cells. They don't just float around randomly. They actually I, I like actively that. moved around with little machines, little robots, nanobots that power your cells. Um, what you see here is actually the, uh, an amazing machine coming out of these little pores, which actually assembles other machines. This is like the factory floor of your cells. It's called a ribosome. It reads your RNA. RNA is uh, trans uh, comes from the DNA, it's translated into RNA, and then it basically. Uh, I'm going to pause right there. I, I'm not going to play too much of this, probably copyrighted or whatever. I'll put a link to this in the in the show in the in the what do you call it? the comments? It'll be, it'll be pinned to the top. My point is, when you get into the other company that I showed you the other day, they have videos like this too, where they show them making the new muscles. And they show them growing muscle in your thigh back in two days on the battlefield. That's documented through the military already. This is almost 10 years ago. They were doing it then. They just didn't give it a name. So you don't know what's in that roll your sleeve up ever. Any of them. I'm not just talking about this uh, macro reset, which macro is the large reset. So... Now it's in Time Magazine. I just posted that on my other site. So Time Magazine is now telling you about the global reset. People, I don't know what else I could tell you. Uh, this is Wag Chicago. Uh, I'll put a link to this so you can watch the rest of it. Um, yeah, you better be careful, and you better stop just believing what the news is telling you. How about that? Just ask questions. Just ask questions or seek truth. If you seek truth, you're going to stop being blinded. That's in a really big book. It tells you that, too. You may want to check it out. I am out of here.